I'm giving you guys a live confessional from my home. <laughs> but no, you guys, I'm about to go to the gym, but I just, it's so funny because when the blogs start talking and they don't even have the information correct, that be the crazy part. And you know, when you sign up for a reality TV show, you are subject to editing however it's going to be edited because they're going to try to get everything in and they don't often get it in. And sometimes I do feel like maybe you guys are purposely confused and that's fine by me because the folks are talking baby bags are secured and over here we're good okay so anyway i wanted to get on here to let y'all know that i will be on a reputable platform next week where y'all can get all of the juicy tea and we're gonna make it make the fuck sense because baby what i've been jazzy and if you know you fucking know don't ever play with it don't play with it she says don't play with my yo yo um now, why is she saying all that? Why? Is it the fact that maybe some of the ladies on the show were confused about the timeline for which she gave that uh, the man that she is with has had his children? Maybe. Maybe that was it. Maybe it's the fact that the baby mama, okay, has entered the chat. Okay. Let's talk about what she had to say. Now, shout out to the Neighborhood Talk that says, oop. The baby mama dropped by the neighborhood. Child, this is getting messy. Okay. Now, they had posted a post that says, oop, Jazzy says she's been with her NFL man for two years, despite him having a three-year-old and a one-year-old by the same woman. By the She says, quote, by the time we got serious, she was already pregnant with the, with the, number, the second one. Okay. I think I saw in a post that she said that they was on a break or something like that when it happened. But I don't know. I can't now I can't find the post. So typically I take a screenshot of it, but I did not take a screenshot of it. Or maybe I did and I can't find it. I don't know. But here's what we are. So she then posted under that and said, he's a good man, Savannah, a good man. Yes. Yes. We love a good man. OK. Anyway, somebody else said she was talking too much. You know, the baby mama's going to come for her. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes the baby mama. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. So baby mama says, I'm not coming for her. I just wish she stopped bringing up my children and referring to me as her and she. Um, is What is she supposed to refer to you as? Uh, would you? I mean, maybe you would just like to be addressed by name. Maybe that's it. And that's fair. But maybe she didn't want to address you by name because she didn't feel like she could. I don't really know. But there's more. Baby mother happens to say this. It's nothing to beef over, but making them making them the narrative of every episode is sickening. I'm thinking she's speaking about the kids. Like he has kids, okay? Well, yeah, that's what she's talking about. Y'all weren't together. Just be honest. It's that simple. But don't try and downplay him and I to make yourself look better is all I'm saying. And people in the comments dragging him off what she said when the story she's telling is the furthest from. <laughs> I think she meant the furthest. Anyway, he knew of each one of his children. He didn't find out when I was one or two months pregnant, as it seemed, as was stated on the show. Um, she says we got pregnant each year on each other's birthday. But before you try and come for me, know the real narrative. I don't want anyone to kiss my ASS, but we're honest over here. And then she goes on to show pictures of her and the kids. The kids' faces are blocked out. So there's that. You know, there, you know, there's everybody and there she is. And, you know, uh, so it sounds to me, okay, now. I, I know Jazzy, I might not be one of those reputable blogs that you're talking about. And that's fine. You know, um, I'm just I'm just a man on the Internet trying to get people to Africa. OK. And to Thailand. That's that's just all I am. And that's all I can be. But. From what we heard, it sounded like a bunch of confusion. OK. And maybe perhaps, as you stated, the edit did not favor your telling of the story. But if that is the case, then maybe the next time someone asks you about you and your fiance, 
and you want to keep it cute, simply say, you know what? My fiance has two children and I am trying to be the best stepmom that I can be. And there you go. Because honestly, it's enough that you are on the show. The man, you, the man was in the NFL. Y'all got a complex family dynamic. And you could have simply just gave the simplest answer to the question versus going the distance with the furthest, most complicated version of the story, okay? That's all we're saying. That's it. You know, we want you to succeed and be successful over here. We do. Come to Africa with us if you want, you know, all of those good tidings of joy and happiness. But that timeline is so confusing that you can't blame the people for having questions because it sounds the, the most confusing. It was the furthest thing from, from simple that you could go. It was so furthest. Like it was furthest down the street. It was like, whoa, we went the distance to quote the great Lisa Barlow. We went the distance on that story and we didn't have to. <laughs>